Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and welcome. Uh, I'm in, oh, my hair is killing me today. I'm in a new spot. I moved a week ago today, uh, which means what day is it? It's Friday the third, I think. Um, so excuse the mess, I'm still moving in or settling in and um, this will not be the background for my future videos but I want to do a chit chat get ready with me and a makeup inventory mashup I think um, because I did a makeup inventory yesterday and yeah so let's go uh, so yeah, I'm not sure if I did upload a few videos or not. I don't remember the last time I did upload a video. I have done a few videos that I do know, but um, I don't remember which I did post, if I even did post any. Um, yeah, I've cut my hair. My hair is also red. Uh, as you can tell, um, no, I want to use this one, I think. Yeah, sure. And um, I am now a single girl. Me and now my ex broke up back in August, and I found a new spot to live where I currently am right now and yeah that is it um finish school have done a ton of photo shoots and have a few that will come out in some magazines over the course of November I've had a few come out in a in a few different different magazines already, uh, which is awesome. Um, yeah, it's it's been crazy, and um, yeah, the first thing I used well on my lips, I used the Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Twenty Sun. That's my everyday go to. There we go. Uh, I don't have too much left. And if I want a little bit of color, I go with 009 Topaz. Again, not too much left right there. Then I went in with the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. Um, really do enjoy this. Not sure if, oh, maybe I'm halfway. Something like that. And right now I'm gonna add on the Beauty Bay Glow Filter. I have the shade, the lightest one, BB. 101 um so yeah that is everything um i believe this is just a stunning glowy base glowy product like you can i typically use this on its own um, or you can use it underneath foundations uh, but my skin has been really good this is now flaring up I don't know why um, and I also like to just because it's a little bit of a tint on it but not too much I like to just put it underneath my eyes as well to do a little bit of color correction like you can tell the difference um, so yeah I really want to get back into doing videos again I miss them and that's why I did the makeup inventory uh, yesterday makeup skincare body care hair care inventory um, there's a few things I want to say first because I am a makeup artist I do have more makeup than this 
because some of it is for my work kit um so those i do not count except for eyeshadows because those are easier to disinfect and yeah so some i have put all eyeshadows into my personal category because i do mix and match and yeah it's as long as i keep it sanitized it's all good uh so yeah but other than that i do have separate foundations concealers um lip glosses mascaras eyeliners lip liners even though lip liners can also be back and forth because you sharpen them so it's fine and uh fair stuff so yes okay so um where do i want to go next what do i need to do next i ugh, it's behind me right there you can see it the black tub that's basically double the size of this one and that one is full of dirty brushes that i need to wash um so yeah other than that i have a ton of makeup there is no denying it and then um, that's all we're gonna say about it because that's just my life um that and yarn so primers i have 17 and do i need 17 no i do not um but i do have like five deluxe size samples one that's almost done a few that i use on a regular basis like i do count this as a primer um so it is and then there's a few i can only use in summertime because they're the same as this but different um oh gosh different brands and um different colors but yeah uh do i want to talk about goals my overall goal will be to have only five and because then i have like my staples like the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base i have a like this one which i do absolutely adore and love uh if you haven't tried it it's awesome um i do prefer it over the elf one just because i'm that fair so the elf one isn't light enough for me which is kind of annoying um i will have those two at hands at all times i think and then i will be able to test some new ones out as well uh right now i'm just using the made by mitchell blurge bronze in hello there it's my all-time favorite bronzing contour duo thingy um so yeah but the goal for 2024 is to get down to 10 so i need to use up seven which i do think is doable for foundation i have 14 plus one i'm saying plus one because i do have a white foundation uh because i am that fair that i need to mix my foundations lighter uh most of the time at least with higher end brands and stuff like that um but my goal is to have two plus the one um and then my goal for 2014 is to have 11 plus one which i think is doable again which is really good um mac glow play blush in blush please um skin tints cc creams bb creams 
all that kind of stuff. I do have nine. My goal is to have two because I do prefer a lighter coverage uh, foundation, even though I've been rocking a um, full coverage foundation over the past few months. Uh, so yeah, um, I do prefer lighter, glowier uh, for most of the year. And then in summertime, more matte. Um, so yeah, I do want two there. I currently have nine, and my goal is to have eight by the end of 2024. I kind of want to work out my foundations first, because a few of them are older than my skin tints and stuff. So that's the reasoning there. Um... For concealer, I have 12. My goal is to have three. One of them is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, which I'm going to use next. I just need to find a brush to use with it that I like using it with, which I, of course, do not have at the moment. Ugh. Okay, this one can do. Um because this one I do like to just use on my pimples because I do find that it's not a concealer that moves a lot and it does cover up what I need to cover up so yeah, uh, that one and one more uh, or at least this one and then be able to test out new concealers because I haven't found my holy grail for underneath my eyes but my goal for 2024 is to get down to 8 so complete 4 and I do think this one will be one of them and I do have 3 smaller ones like that doesn't have too much product in them so it shouldn't be too difficult but i might also repurchase this one so we will see how it goes um so yeah what else um color corrector i have nine my goal is to have one i don't feel like i need it that much but sometimes it's nice to have because you never know. Uh, my goal for next year is to get down to eight. Um, yeah. Setting powder, I have 14. My goal is to have four. Um, one being the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. And then the other one being the new Huda Beauty Easy Bake and Snatched. Snatch, Jesus, in cherry blossom, cherry blossom cake, there we go, um, and then test out a few new ones, because I really do want to test out and see what works, what doesn't, what do I prefer, and so far I do prefer the Laura Mercier one. Um, so yeah, but by the end of the next year, I want to have gone down to 11, which I think is doable because I'm almost out of the Laura Mercier one. I have a repressed one in a compact and, um, did I have a few others? I have a list, I just don't bother looking at it right now. So yeah. <sighs> Powder foundations, I have four. Do I need four? No. Do I enjoy powder foundations? Yes. Um, 
which may be confusing because I do have more of a drier skin or my skin is more dry than anything else so it shouldn't be my favorite but it like after I'm done with my makeup it has melted down and is more of a glowy and not dry thing on my face so that's why and I do really prefer the MAC one but I have a e.l.f. one I haven't tried the Fenty Beauty one is really good um, so yeah there is a lot of good powder foundations out there the L'Oreal one is really nice um, but yeah, I do only need one, and I do think I will stick to the MAC one, um, but who knows? Okay, I'm gonna set my under eyes with the Easy Bacon Snatch in Cherry Blossom Cake from Huda Beauty. And uh, what's next? Cream bronzers. I have seven currently. Uh, I don't mind. It's not a ton, I feel like, at least. Some of them are cream contours, some are cream bronzers, so they do have differences between them. And yeah, my goal is to have two. I think I will always have the Made by Mitchell one. And then one to try out. But I don't need more than two, I think. Maximum three, but I really want to just have two. Uh, but the goal for 2024 is to get down to six. And that shouldn't be too bad. Let's go in with the Dior, what are you called? Face and Body Powder, no powder. Um, I have the lightest shade, of course. Um, bronzers, I have six. My goal is to have two. My favorite one is the Dior one. Um, Oh, this is a really good combination. I've never tried this powder on top of the glow filter from Beauty Bay. That's awesome to know. Okay, um, I have six. Not too many. I think this is the category I'm the most happy about. Uh, but I mostly just use three of them, so I could potentially get rid of the other three. Um or have them in my makeup kit. That could be an option. Um, but yeah, my goal is to get down to two and I really wanna finish up one next year because I haven't finished a bronzer in a couple of years. I've decluttered a lot of my bronzers but nothing exciting in my bronzer category actually um, over the past few years so yeah I really want to finish up a bronzer I don't have any pans in them either so we will see if it's doable um, but yeah Cream blush, I have 13. Okay, let's specify a little bit more. When I say I have 13 of cream blushes, I don't count the ones that are in cheek palettes. Uh, same with bronzers, same with highlighters. These are just single compacted items in my collection. Um, yes. So, what did I say? 13 cream blushes. I want to get down to 5 because I don't need more than 5. I think that's enough of a color variety. Um, 
so yeah that's my opinion on that this year i want to get down to 12 which i think is doable uh i'm gonna go in with the natasha denona green brown 28 pan palette and i'm gonna go into flamingo i do have the names on here i'm gonna go into ooh, flamingo right here and then shell right here and then i'm probably gonna go into a shimmer but i'm not sure which one yet i'm just gonna keep it light today um at least that is my plan um so yeah blush i have 18 my goal is seven um and my goal is to get down to 16 by the end of the year which i do think is doable i do have some smaller blushes but again i don't have any with pan so i need to get a move on and i do need to get back into doing my makeup um so yeah my what did i say yeah cream highlighter i have six my goal is one i'm not big on cream highlighter just because i do use glowy bases and stuff instead but it's okay i think to have one because if you're if you want that extra little glow it's always nice so yeah uh, but my goal is to get down to four. I might be able to get it down to three. But we will see. Highlighters, I have 17. For one who doesn't wear any highlighters anymore, that is way too many. So my ultimate goal is to only have two. And I do think one of them will be the Becca Smashbox Rose Quartz one, because that one's absolutely stunning. Um, and then my goal for 2024 is to get down to 15, which I think is doable. And I do, like, I do count, I have three highlighters that do have two pans in them each pan counts as one um so yeah that's the reasoning there um so technically i only have 14 packaged highlighters Cheek pads, I have 15. My goal is to have five. And next year, I'm not going to be focusing in on any of them. But I do think I will put them into project pants to just have the usage goals on them and stuff like that. Um, so my goal for next year is to have 15. Nothing more. Um, I do really enjoy a good face palette. Um... I actually do think I use those more than my single packaged items, cheek products, uh, which is kind of crazy, but it's the truth, except for bronzers. Uh, but for blush and highlighter and all that stuff, I usually go in with the My Dream face palette from Natasha Denona. Okay, which shimmer should we do today? What will it be? Will it be Moonstone or Sienna? Okay, let's... Hmm. 
This is Moonstone. Oh my gosh, this is a long time. Oh, that's pretty. And this is Sienna. Oh, that's dark. That's a lot darker than I thought it would be. Or should I do Satin Tan? Oh, that's pretty. Oh, but that's still a little bit dark. What is that one? Indian gold? Ooh. Mm, no, we're gonna go with moonstone, I think. Uh, just because we're worried. Uh, yeah. Blue planners, I have 28. My goal is to have seven. One for each like category. Brown, red, pink, purple, orangey, and then whatever, whatever. Uh, just to have a little bit of a variation that I don't need. Like, I don't need 28. Um, yes. And my goal is to get down to 25. I do use my lip liners, actually. Um, I actually really enjoy the lip liners. Uh, but I found out that I have a few ones that I do prefer over other ones in my collection. Um, so... <sighs> my hair is a... I'm on my curly baby hair journey as well as my hair journey overall so it's a little bit interesting um, oh that's the perfect amount of shine um, yes. Lipsticks, I have 49. I don't need 49. Oh, that's the wrong shade. I don't want to do that. Uh, my goal is to have 15. And by the end of 2024, I would like to be down at 45. And I've picked out two minis and two full-sized ones that I do think is doable because they're just neutrals and the ones I do gravitate to uh, because of the formula and stuff so it shouldn't be that bad um, so yeah really doable liquid lipsticks I have 21 my goal is to have no more than five I barely use them so what's the point of having them if you don't use them you know, and then my goal for next year is to get down to 20. Then we have lip gloss. I have 36. My goal is to have 10. My favorite ones are the Maybelline Lifter glosses. Um, those are my everyday go-to. I can just slap them on. Um, no mirror needed, no anything needed. Um, so yeah. Um, my goal is to have 10. And by next year I want to be down to 30. 30, yes. 30 is a good number. Um, I'm probably going to be lower than that, but I might also purchase a few re um, yeah, repurchases of uh, the Maybelline Lifter glasses. So 30 is, I think, a good number to be at. Uh, eyeliners, I have 37. My goal is to have 10. And I am setting my goal number down to 33 by the end of 2024. I think that's doable. I've picked out two 
liquid liners and two pencil liners. So I'm pretty sure it will be doable. Um, so yeah. Mascaras, I have seven. I need only two. Um, that's it. I don't need more. I'm probably gonna go through most of the ones I do have right now. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be repurchasing the ones that I do like and do enjoy. Um, so that's about that. Eyeshadow primer, I have three. And I'm gonna use an eyelash curler, so it's gonna look a little bit crazy. I have three. My goal is to have zero because I do use um, concealer most of the time, uh, but my goal is to get down to two next year. And I think that's doable. Then we have cream eyeshadows. That's cream and liquid shadows, both powdered and in stick form and in tubes and everything. I have 36, my goal is 15. I do really enjoy stick or cream and liquid shadows, uh, but I don't need 36 of them. But my goal for next year is to get down to 35. Sometimes I do use stick cream shadows as an eyeshadow base as well. So yeah, single shadows that are not those are not deposited into C palettes and stuff, uh, magnetic palettes. These are just single packaged eyeshadows. I have 13. My goal is to have no more than five and I want to use up one for next year. And yeah, eyeshadow palettes, I have 120. I'm pretty sure I will get one out if I work on it next year. Um, and my goal is to have no more than 120 and those are both for me personally and for work so I do think that's fine um, I do think I can declutter some sh palettes um, but yeah I'm not gonna do that But yeah, my goal next year is to have the same or one less. I am planning on buying the new Huda Beauty one uh, that I now don't remember the name of. But it's straight up my alley and you can never go wrong with the bigger Huda Beauty palettes, I think. Just a teeny tiny bit of mascara. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy today. Um, brow gels, I have 10. My goal is to have two, one clear and one tinted. Um, I think that is a reasonable number. And my goal for next year is to get down to eight. And I do think that's also a reasonable number. To get down to so yeah uh, other types of brow products I have six and my goal is to just have one and that will most likely be the NYX uh, ooh, what are you called it's the pen one, like the eyeliner thingy. Um, yeah, that one. Um, I don't remember the name of it and I don't have it in front of me. But yeah, I want to have that one and I want to finish up three for next year so I can cut that in half. That would be awesome. I do think it's doable. Uh, I just need to start doing my brows because the past year I have only used brow gel 
Um, sometimes not even that because I do laminate my own brows. Um, so yeah. Last but not least, setting sprays. I do have five. I only need two. And I do want to finish up two next year. Um, yes. I think that's doable and I think it's reasonable and there you are and yeah so that is the plan right now I have a total of 533 products in my stash I didn't count uh, pants in palettes and face palettes and stuff um, And yeah, my goal number is to be down to 231, where 120 of them are eyeshadow palettes, so that's kind of crazy. Uh, but my goal number for next year is to get down to 470, so that's 63 items out of my stash. Uh, well more because i want to be at 470 but if i'm not purchasing anything next year it should be doable but we will see i'm using mac lip pencil in soar And I really do enjoy the MAC pencils. They are absolutely stunning. Let's see. Okay, this one will do, I think. I hope. Just to smudge it out. Just to give a little bit of tint on the lips. And This is usually my like go-to everyday makeup style, usually, actually. Uh, we're gonna get a little bit more blush because it is fading. There we go. It. So yeah, that is my goal. I will do a inventory video like maybe in the beginning of next year, I think, or maybe at the end of this year because I do think I will be finishing up like these two and I might finish up a primer or I might finish up a mascara or something. It's just, you know, you never know what you're going to finish up. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of everything video. Um, I am wanting to do more videos again. I'm wanting to do 
more tutorials and stuff as well but i want to do that uh on a different channel so i'm just trying to get these boxes out do all of the stuff i need to do and all of that my background's going to be on this wall um so we will see how it will look when i turn my table um i really want to get back into doing weekly or bi-weekly makeup drawers every day makeup again um and yeah let me know what you want to see from me because i haven't filmed and posted in like forever and yeah it's been a crazy year okay um I'm getting into my hair, okay? It's, it's, I really enjoy my hair. Um, but I'm figuring shit out with it as well. So yeah. Uh, holy crap, the curls are coming out today. It's the first time since I cut it this short that the curls have come out. So it's looking a little bit rough. So bear with me, okay? Um, yes. I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I will see you again in my next video. Bye.